Hello beautiful people of the world and welcome to a new series of tutorials about PD. In this series of videos we're going to learn PD from the very basics, so we're going to start from the very beginning and we will learn how to create synthesizers, drum machines, effects and many more things. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to download PD. I'll provide the link in the description of this video. And once you've downloaded the right version for your operating system, you can install it in the very same way you do with any other software. PD is free and open source, which means that you can use it for your own productions, you can create patches, you can share patches, and you can do it for free. So once you've installed it, you can launch PD, and the first thing that you will see is the console window. PD is a visual programming language, and we can create our own programs called patches in specific windows called patcher windows by connecting several objects, several modules between them with virtual cables. To create a new patch, we need a patcher window. So we can go to the file menu and click on new. A new patcher window opens up and it's completely empty. To create a patch, we need to populate the patcher window with objects. Every object does a specific task and it has inputs and outputs called inlets and outlets. To create a new object, we can go to the put menu and choose between one of the several objects that PD has. The first item in the menu called object, it's a general purpose object and we can click on it and a dotted line a rectangle will appear. Now we can click in any point of the patcher window and we can now type in a name of any object inside the rectangle. So for instance, let's say that we want to add a couple of numbers. We write the plus sign into the rectangle so the plus object has been created. Now we can go again to the put menu and we can choose number. I strongly recommend that you start to learn and use the key commands for the subjects because this will speed up the process of creating a new patch. So instead of going to the put menu and clicking on the number item in the menu, we can use the key command command three or control three on Windows and Linux. The objects inlets are on the top of the object while the outlets are on the bottom of the object. So to connect the outlet of the number atom we just created to the input of the plus object, we can click on the number atom outlet and drag to the left inlet of the plus object. So now we can create a couple more number atom using the key command command3 or control3 and we can connect the outlet of one of the other number atom to the right inlet of the plus object. And now we can connect the outlet of the plus object to the inlet of the third number atom we created. So far, we've been working on the edit mode. PD has two modes of operation, the edit mode and the performance mode. While we are in edit mode, we can create our patches, we can move our objects around, we can create new objects, we can make connections, we can actually create the patch itself. But to use the patch, we have to switch to the performance mode. And to do this, we use the key command, command E or control E. So now that we are in performance mode, we can actually change the number values into the number atoms. Now, as you can see, we've got results out of the plus object only when we move the number atom connected to its left inlet. This is because in PD, different objects' inlets have different priorities. Every time the leftmost inlet of any object receives data, it will output the result of its calculations. If we want to change an object inside the patch, we can go back to edit mode, we can click on the object and change its name. In this case, we're now not summing anymore, but subtracting one number from the other. In the next video, we're going to talk about audio signal and we're going to create 
our first patch for sound synthesis. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated for the next tutorials and I'll see you next week. Ciao!